Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well. Can you please like and subscribe? It helps out a lot. <laughs> Thank you. And don't forget to leave a comment if you want to. I'll answer it when I have time. Okay. Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well. So this is just an insert of a clip quickly to make you understand what's my reasoning behind everything. This Mercedes bumper over here is my bumper that I've got on my car. Well, the same one as this, not my car, it's a Google image. So the inspiration behind my bumper was actually the AMG model that's got this bumper with this little diffuser. And I've searched everywhere. I even went on eBay, but the bumpers they've got like this on eBay don't ship to South Africa, so I can't get a bumper like this. So, just excuse, I've got all the garage doors closed because people are making mad noise in the road and I don't want to hear that in the background. So, okay. I bought two new exhaust tips and we made a diffuser for my car. Well, I was still busy making a diffuser. We are struggling a bit with the bonnet because, you know, obviously... You have to apply filler to the hood so that the scoop like flows into the bonnet. I'll show you everything. But I want to show you the exhaust tips that I bought. I'll do a little unboxing for you. <laughs> then you guys can see it. And I'll show you the old exhaust tips on the car. And then, yeah. Okay, so this is the exhaust tips that is on the car at the moment. Obviously, I don't know if you guys remember, there's like no boxes on the car. Let me just switch the light on. On light, there we go. Empty. Anyway, so, therefore I've got those two exhaust tips which I don't like as much. And the exhaust box is still standing over there on the side. So as soon as I get my hood done and my back bumper done, because obviously I need the back bumper to get the exhaust tips um, fitted so that they align in the bumper. But anyway, this is the new, yo, I hit my thumb in the door. <laughs> Don't judge me. So this is the new exhaust tips. It's like black chrome. I love it too. That's Oh my god. There you can see it. It looks amazing. And obviously, oh lord, I just dropped it. Oh jeez, that sounds horrible. Let me just put it on the side. There you can see. It like is angled. So the difference is when it's on the car in the bumper or whatever the angle is going to be better because the bumper curves down as well and those are straight so I've got two singles because there's not going to be enough space for two doubles so I did what I can do bit dirty because obviously I've been touching them but that's gonna look amazing against the maroon and the big thing is I literally have no chrome on my car anymore the car is literally all black and maroon the only chrome that's left is this little lip thing on the mags and then obviously the badges Okay, you guys, this is a Range Rover Evokes rear bumper. I'm literally only going to use the diffuser of it. And then, this is obviously my Mercedes back bumper. I'm going to put it in that bumper. Well, obviously going to make it fit in. See what I can do, but that's going to be how it is.
Okay, so it's molded in. Now it just needs to be primed and then painted. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can remember, I literally like a few videos back, I think it's like two or three videos back, I show you guys the ashtray in the middle of my car, not ashtray, what do you call it? Little holder where you put your phone in or whatever underneath the radio. There, that thing was like, it has a rubber coating on it and literally started melting in the sunlight. So I started chipping away on it and it literally started coming off, I'll show you guys. But I bought tools that I'm going to use to remove the whole thing. But you have to take out the vents and the whole center trim and then you can remove that. Okay, this is the tools that I got. Torx, spline set, I don't know. So I have the other ones that's got like a socket with splines on them. But literally it needs to be thin like this so it can go through the vent. Okay, so I chipped most of the um, rubberizing away, as you can see it's still there, focus phone, in the corners and underneath. So I want to take this whole thing out so I can clean it actually up, so it looks better, because it looks quite cheap, if I have to say it like that. So I don't know if you guys can see it, I'll try and focus the phone, but there's literally a spline in there, let me use the other one, it's easier. Okay, so there's a spine over there, and for that you have to tilt this, I don't know if you can see that tab over there, there's a little tab in there. So you literally have to push that tab outwards, and tilt this backwards. So as soon as you tilt that backwards and up, then that whole thing like twists to the back, and you can slide that torque split thing right through there. There's one on this side, one on this side, and then when you take your ashtray out, which your car probably needs to be neutral, which mine isn't, so I can take it out. Okay, so I pulled the tabs to the side and tilted them backwards. Now you can better see the bolt, probably. There it is. And on the other side, same thing. And I removed this trim over here. So over here, there's a tab over there. And a tab over there that you're likely to release a bit, and then this will pull up. But you take a flat screwdriver, just Put it in there and just push it a little bit, not too much, you don't want to break anything. And there's the trim and the ashtray. Okay, I popped them up so you can literally see it's like loose now. Let me just tilt this like this. And my car is not in neutral so I'm not going to be able to get this thing out. And then this whole thing is just loose. And you can just take it out. Obviously you have to disconnect the wires. But this little ashtray or cell phone holder will be removed. Okay, you guys, the one that I used was a T20 to remove that bolt. Okay, so this thing is attached in a way to the radio at the bottom. So you remove this bolt over here. Why is this phone never focusing? That's crazy. And the bolt over here. I already unscrewed them. Also T20. And you just slide it out. And this should obviously hook off, I'll show you now. Okay, so I cleaned it up, it looks a little bit better. It's not as it originally was, but 
it will do the job so it doesn't look as bad in the dash okay as soon as you slide the radio out this will literally just fall out because it's literally just hooked into the radio at the bottom but now you can see this thing looks horrible so i'm going to try and clean it up before i put it back okay now that it's all assembled it doesn't look that bad anymore you don't notice it when you just like look past it but the only thing now that the rubber is gone it's got like a little bit of a a little bit of a rattle <laughs> i don't know if it's gonna rattle when i drive but it moves a bit if you touch it i'm gonna put one over there on this side probably preferably to the corner as possible and then the other one on the other side, I think it's going to look awesome above this spot, but not below. That's going to look trash. It needs to be above. I'm going to do that before I get the bumper repainted because it's literally, after I reverse it off, there's like cracks everywhere. Where's the crack? There it is. I don't know if you can see it. And on this side, there it's cracking. And there's paint that chipped off. And plus the previous person that painted it. Hmm. There's like marks in the bumper. I don't know. Anyway. Let me cut this thing open and see what we can do. Okay, so both of them are there. I thought about it and I literally am going to like cut the little grill things out and like slide them in and mount them in because the bumper is going to be repainted so all of this stuff has to be taken off anyways but this is how it's going to be looking so that should be nice while i'm driving okay. and if you want to check my gaming videos you can check out my other youtube channel it's stone metal 552 I'll show you quickly and then I stream every night on Twitch that's only if you're interested to look at that <laughs> let me show you quickly where's the other channel there it is I don't know obviously you can't see that let me just move this away there we go oh look at that there it is and then obviously the channel that this video will be posted on is the normal channel so um yeah hey you guys i hope you're all doing well i just want to ask can you please like and subscribe that helps up uh,